Hi guys, welcome to today's class. My name is McKenna Blanthorne and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some, some acrylic ornaments or acrylic um, name tags for your Christmas gifts. So go ahead and grab your supplies and let's get crafting along. All right guys, so I'm gonna just show you guys the different materials we're gonna be using today. It's very straightforward, very simple. We're gonna be using two different colors of vinyl. I have a red and a white. And then um, we are also going to be using um, some transfer tape. I have Aura tape, that's my transfer tape of choice. And then I have these acrylic ornaments that you can find at any craft store. These specifically that I grabbed, they're from Hobby Lobby, but I know that they have them at Michael's as well and possibly Joann's. I did not go to Joann's, so I didn't see them, um, but I know you can find them for sure at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or even Amazon. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you what these look like. When you pull it out of the bag, they look like they're frosted, but they're actually not. That is just a protective covering on the acrylic so that we don't scratch it. So I'm just taking my silhouette hook tool and just being careful to not scratch it, pulling it from one side and pulling off that covering. And then I'm gonna do the other thing on the same side, or on the, uh, the same thing on the other side. There we go. So as you can see, these are just a clear little disc. And what we are gonna be doing today is we're gonna be adding some vinyl on top with names and a little design to make a little personalized um, tag that's gonna go on my Christmas gifts that I'm giving this year. But also after the fact, it can be used as a little DIY homemade ornament. Um, so just go ahead and um, remove all of your backings on your discs. Um, I'm just gonna be demonstrating one for you today. Um, but if you are doing all of them at the same time, I recommend you kind of preparing everything in steps so that it goes a little bit quicker for you. So I'm just gonna put this down here and then I also have some little ribbon, um, some twine, red and white twine that I'm using, um, but you can use whatever ribbon you already have to wrap your gifts as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump in our software. All right guys, here in our software, um, I'm using the Cameo 5, so I have that selected over here and then I'm actually gonna be cutting matless, so I have no um, cutting mat selected and my media size is 12 by 12. So now we're gonna go to our library and there's a couple different things that we could do for this. We could do a candy cane, we could do a cookie if you had the right color of vinyl. I have red and white, so I don't think a cookie would be as um, noticeable. But I actually, today I wanna use a snowflake um, because I really really love how the snowflake looks on the acrylic disc because it kind of makes it look like it's just a white snowflake kind of floating um, which you know snowflakes kind of fall down and float so it's kind of a fun um, item to put on the acrylic discs and I think they also make a really beautiful ornament for your tree when they're just hanging by themselves. Um, so I have a whole bunch of snowflakes here but I think I want to use one that I haven't used in a while um, I use these ones for a different tutorial that you may have seen already or maybe it's still coming up But I think I'm gonna use this one that kind of has this little flowery thing in the middle And I think that's gonna be super fun um, The design ID is 71765 and it's actually a silhouette design um, So if you're looking for it in the design store, that's how you can locate it So I'm just gonna double click it to bring it into my design space and then I actually right now it's like a two-tone design but I actually want it to just be one tone and then I want to put the name over the top of it so I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it just by right clicking oh and, I, and then selecting ungroup and then I'm actually just going to select my outside piece oh never mind this is not an ungroup this is a compound path so I'm going to right click and then I'm going to select release compound path and that will just um, make it so the inside and the outside are disconnected and I'm going to does not want to let me select just my outside piece maybe let's try ungrouping it one more time okay that worked so I guess it was grouped it wasn't a compound path so go back to that and just ungroup it and then I'm just going to drag the outside piece away and then delete it and then I have my snowflake piece um, and that's what I'm going to use for my disc so I'm just going to drag a rectangle over the top of all of those and then I'm going to right click and group that back together again and at this point we can go ahead and size this snowflake the way that the size that we want it to be um, I'm going to look at my packaging one more time to see how big these are. So 
These are 3.5 inches in diameter. Um, so we are going to size our snowflake to be just a little bit smaller than that. And also keeping in mind that it has this little circle at the top that I don't want to overlap with. Um, so I would say that little circle is, um, I don't know, I think if we cut everything down by half an inch, like all the way around, I think we will have plenty of room all the way around. Yeah, so instead of 3.5, we're gonna make it three inches. So I'm just going to click that and then I'm gonna come up here to the top where it says width and I'm just gonna make that a three. And then I'm just going to drag it up here to the corner. And then like I mentioned, we do want our name to be on top of that to personalize these. So to do that, I'm going to click this little letter icon over here and then I'm just going to click and I'm gonna start typing. And I'm just gonna be making one for my mom today. So I'm gonna start typing mom. And this is the font that I was using last time. So that's why I started typing in that. But I just want to um, select all of that and then I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna go to my library and then to my fonts. And I wanna use this Christmas cards fonts by Blush Fonts. And the design ID is 386639. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click that one while I have my um, text selected and it's going to change the font and then um, I'm going to make this red just so we can see it a little bit better because that is the color that it's going to be on our snowflake anyway um, so then I'm just going to drag it over here on top of the snowflake and I actually really like the sizing of this as it is I think it's a nice size um, so maybe I'm, I will make it a tad bit smaller um, just so we can see that beautiful kind of flowery inside of the snowflake too but then I'm just going to draw a rectangle over both of those designs and then I'm going to come up here to my center and align and I'm going to centrally align them and vertically align them as well. And after doing that, it kind of looks visually not centered. Um, so I'm just going to move it up a little bit. And this is just to get like a visual or a virtual preview because um, when I actually am doing it, it's not going to line up. I'm just going to line it up manually um, with my two different colors. So now that is all we have to do in Silhouette Studio. If you're going to be doing multiple of these, you're going to just duplicate that. So I'm going to draw a rectangle over the top and then I would just duplicate it again, however many times I want to make it. So I'm just going to do one today though. So I'm going to drag my mom name off to the side and then I'm going to come to my send panel and then I will go over to my Silhouette machine. So this is the all new Cameo 5. It's a super awesome machine. It does all the same things as the Cameo 4 plus more. Um, so make sure to check it out and check out all of our tutorials with the Cameo 5. So to open it, I'm just going to pull up a tiny bit and then it's going to soft open the rest of the way by itself. And then I'm just gonna turn it towards me so I can use it a little bit easier. And then we're cutting our snowflake first. So that is gonna be our white. And this is a matte um, Orical 651 that I picked up at Michael's. I lately have been loving the vinyl sheets. If you're not doing like a giant long project that you need to be cutting matteless on the roll, the sheets are the way to go for me. So um, be sure to check those out. And then I'm just gonna line up the edge of my vinyl with um, the arrow and line on my Cameo 5. I'm just gonna push it in until it doesn't go any further, and then I'm gonna press the upward arrow to load it. And it pulls it in super soft and seamlessly, um, and it just is really, really nice. So now I'm gonna come over to my software, and I have Vinyl Glossy selected. Like I said, this is a vinyl matte, so I'm gonna change that to a matte vinyl. And then my preference is I just like to cut my vinyl on a two instead of a one, for the blade depth. I've just found that especially this Oracle 651 vinyl cuts best when you cut it with a blade depth of two, but I'm not gonna change any of the other settings. So then all I need to do is come down to the bottom and click send. So I'm just gonna take my Silhouette hook tool and pull like one of these inside pieces just to make sure that it cut and it cut perfectly. Um, so I'm just gonna press the little downward arrow to unload it. And then we're gonna go ahead and load in our red piece. 
And this would be a really great project for scraps of vinyl too. Obviously, um, I'm just using a tiny piece of this red, so it's just gonna go back into my bin. Um, but if you have scraps and a mat, this is a great project for that. So I'm gonna go ahead in my software and then drag my snowflake off, and then I'm just gonna drag my word on. And I'm just putting it in the upper left-hand corner as close to the edge as I can. And then I'm just gonna come back down here. I don't need to change any of my settings, and I'm just gonna click send. All right, guys, so um, this one just finished cutting. I'm not gonna check this one because number one, I can't get to the cut because it's so high up there. And number two, because it's exactly the same as this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unload that. And then while that one was cutting, I cut my excess um, vinyl around. So I just have that little square of our design. And then I'm gonna do the same thing um, with this piece. So still basically have a full sheet of vinyl there. All right, guys. And as you can see, we are now ready to just transfer to our disc. And um, one thing that I do think that's kind of fun that we can do with the disc is we can do the snowflake on the back side, and then we can do the name on the front. And number one, that's just going to give it like a little bit of dimension, but it also makes it so you don't get like... Um, like layering when you don't want it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm going to take my transfer tape and fold it over in the corner and then pull it back. This always seems to be one of the trickiest parts of vinyl crafting for me. And then we're going to just put it right on top of our snowflake and then we're going to take our silhouette scraper tool and just go over the top of it to get any bubbles out and to get it to stick to our transfer tape. And obviously, um, if you're doing it like this on the back side and the front side, just make sure that your vinyl is the same color on both sides. Mine is, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I have my disc right here and I'm just going to, um, I don't want it to overlap with that top hole like I was saying. Um, so in order to not have that happen, I'm just gonna do the hole kind of in between my two lines. Looks like I could have done it even a teeny tiny bit smaller if I wanted to do it up and down. But snowflakes fall in all directions, so I'm not too concerned about that. And then I'm just gonna peel it off. Vinyl sticks and poles the transfer tape really, really nicely off um, acrylic. So it's a, it's a really beginner friendly craft, I think. And then we're just gonna do mom. And like I said, the reason that I'm doing it like this is because I don't want to have my red vinyl layered on top of my white one. I just want it to be really nice and seamless. Um, but I do wanna make sure to like center the mom in the snowflake. So I'm just kind of hovering it above and then I'm going to just press down and it's probably a little bit tricky to see with the camera but it really does give it like this nice dimension too of the name kind of floating on top of the snowflake. It's, it's a lot easier to see in person so when you do it yourself you're going to be able to tell. Um, but now all we need to do is just take our string and just um, tie it around the top. So I'm just cutting to get a nice um, edge. And then you can do it however you want. Like I said, um, I'm going to put it on presents. So I'm just going to do a short little string and then um, I'm going to tie it to the ribbons that are already on the presents. I'm just pulling it around there and then I'm going to tie it in some little knots. Okay. 
and there we have it guys this is a super super easy project that you can make um, and you can just do it as ornaments on your tree if you want to omit the word you could also just do words that like remind you of Christmas I think that would be super fun like joy Noel things like that but I love gifting these because it's a little personalized touch and it doubles as a gift tag and a little ornament they can put on their tree so thank you guys so much for tuning in I'm so glad that I could teach you this super easy vinyl craft that I promise you anybody can do so make sure to tune in to the silhouette YouTube channel every week for new tutorials on the new machines and also just all of our machines in general but thanks so much for joining us and I hope to see you next time bye